So welcome again uh, to the KTU uh, Advanced Manufacturing Technology Question Paper Solutions. So the question is from May, May 2019 question paper and uh, the question is 4A. Explain the different stages of sintering process in powder metallurgy with a neat sketch. Explain the different stages of sintering process in powder metallurgy with a neat sketch. And here you can see the marks, six marks. Explain the different stages of sintering process in powder metallurgy with a neat sketch. So I will share the solution. Answer, I will share the answer. Okay, so first of all, <coughs> first of all, you have to define what is powder metallurgy. So powder metallurgy, in powder metallurgy, first we have to prepare the powder, fine powdered materials are prepared, then blending and mixing, okay, mixing the powder uh, and pressed into desired shape in a die. You have to place this powder in a die and then pressed into desired shape. Then next operation, that is the uh, heating. This process is called a cindering heated in a controlled environment. What is the purpose of this heating? Uh, after pressing, uh, you will get the, the required shape, but there is no strength, okay? When you, uh, after after this powder compaction or pressing, you will get the product with the desired shape, but there is no strength, okay? Once this heating process is completed, you will get the uh, developed bonding between contacting surfaces of the particle and hence to obtain the desired properties. So this heating is called heating in a controlled environment, to develop bonding between contacting surfaces of the particles that is called a sintering process okay so i will explain the sintering process okay so sintering is the process of consolidating a green compact of the desired composition at a controlled temperature conditions and time the process can be defined as the thermal treatment. So this is a thermal treatment of powder compact, okay, at a temperature below the melting point of the material, okay. So the temperature will be below the melting point of the material. For the purpose of, what is the purpose of this sintering? Increasing its strength. We have to increase the strength by bonding the powder particles together, okay. So the, this is the basic definition of sintering. This is a thermal treatment of powder compact thermal treatment on powder compact and what about the temperature the temperature will be below the melting point of the uh, material and what is the purpose of doing this sintering the purpose of doing this sintering is to increase the strength by bonding the particles together the main parameters the main parameters which control the sintering process are three important parameters are sintering temperature sintering time and a sintering atmosphere so these three are the are very important parameters three main parameters that control the sintering process sintering temperature sintering time and sintering atmosphere so sintering time means uh, for some products the time will be very less for some product that will be for hours so sintering times are as low as 10 minutes for iron and copper alloys and as high as many hours for materials like tungsten and tantalum Okay, so the sintering time will be different for different materials. Then the next important parameter is the sintering temperature. So as I already uh, mentioned, the temperature will be below the melting point of the material for the purpose of increasing its strength by bonding the particles together. So the sintering temperature will be below the melting point of the material. So the sintering temperature is usually, so here 0 0.7 to 0.9 TM. So TM is the melting point. So the sintering temperature will be 0 0.7 to 0.9 TM of the metal or alloy. And the next is the sintering atmosphere. That is the uh, second parameter. The next the third parameter, that is the sintering atmosphere. The heating is carried out in a protective environment containing argon or hydrogen gas. So this, this sintering atmosphere, this operation is carried out in a, this heating process is carried out in a protective environment containing argon or hydrogen gas. During compaction, that is powder pressing, the powder particles are physically bonded together. So once this uh, pressing, this powder compaction is completed, you will get the uh, product with the desired shape, required shape, but there is no strength. Okay. So during compaction, the powder particles are actually physically bonded together. 
During sindering process, these particles are metallurgically bonded to produce a solid structural part. Once the sindering process is completed, you will get the product with a solid structural part. That means metallurgically bonded. During the sindering, the particles are the powder particles are metallurgically bonded together to produce a solid structural part. As part of this sindering, this, this heating process, several changes like shrinkage, formation of solid solution, development of final structure, microstructure takes place. Due to, because of this, uh, due to this, porosity is removed. I already explained the powder metallurgy products. The uh, Because of this uh, porous nature of the powder metallurgy products, we have to do some secondary operations. So por porous, porous nature is... Uh, uh, in uh, powder metallurgy product because of the because of this here because of this porosity is removed and the densification occurs in green compact then the mechanisms of sindering so what happens when uh, when we are actually uh, do some thermal treatment uh, to the powder metallurgy uh, powder compact so the mechanisms of sindering is very very important Sinder uh, this sindering mechanisms are complex mechanisms and depend on the composition of metal particles and also on the process parameters. So this sindering, this heating mechanisms are a complex mechanisms and this will depend on the composition of the metal particles and also the process, the various process parameters. Then diffusion, the first one is the diffusion. This is the mechanism of mass transport observed at a higher temperature. Diffusion is the mechanism of mass transport observed at a higher temperature. Sindering by diffusion is also called a solid state sindering. Sindering by diffusion is also called a solid state sindering. At higher temperature, two adjacent particles. So here, uh, in a, here you can see an, a picture, okay, with the two circular particles. So these two are the two adjacent powder particles. At higher temperature, these two adjacent powder particles begin to form a bond by this uh, mechanism that is called a diffusion and a mass transport between the two particles so these are the two powder particles at a higher temperature these two adjacent particles begin to form a bond by diffusion and a mass transport this is illustrated in figure 1.14 because of this diffusion these adjacent particles join together and move closer each so this is the first figure this is the in the second figure you can see because of this diffusion these two adjacent particles join together and move closer to each other this is the uh, second figure Okay, because of this, as a result, strength, density, ductility, and the thermal conductivity of the compact increases. Okay, but as the compact becomes denser, it shrinks in size. Okay, so this is called a diffusion. Diffusion means mass transport observed at a higher temperature. Okay, so you have to draw this figure. Okay, so sindering mechanisms of sindering, you have to draw this figure and explain this diffusion, diffusion and a, uh, mass transport. Diffusion and mass transport between two particles. Okay. So solid phase sindering can also happen due to viscous and plastic flows. Viscous flow mechanism is explained due to the presence of lattice vacancies and is important in sindering of glasses. Bulk flow of material by movement of dislocations is the mechanism behind plastic flow. Though these mechanisms are also behind solid phase sindering, it is better explained by the diffusion process. So uh, you have to uh, draw this figure and explain uh, with the help of this figure, you have to explain this mass transport diffusion and uh, mass transport between two adjacent powder particles. Then next is the vapor phase transport. As the material is heated to temperature, so I already um, uh, mentioned what is the sindering temperature. The sindering temperature, the temperature will be below the melting point of the material and usually the temperature, the sindering temperature will be 0.7 to 0.9 TM. So TM is the melting point of the metal or alloy. So as the material is heated, okay, during the sindering, this material is heated to temperature closer to the melting point. Okay, what happens? Some atoms. Okay, if the temperature will be closer to the melting point of the metal or alloy, some atoms or may evaporate to a vapor phase. At the interface of the particles, the condition would be favorable for the vapor to condense and solidify. Thus, the particles are joined by the formation of the bond and the particles shrink. This mechanism is not significant in most of the materials. This mechanism, this vapor phase transport is mechanism is not significant in most of the materials. This is applicable only for materials with a high vapor pressure at a high temperature. Okay, so vapor phase transport means once again, the material as the material is heated to temperature closer to the melting point, 
some uh, closer to the melting point of the metal or alloy some atoms may evaporate to vapor phase at the interface of the particles the condition would be favorable for the vapor to condense and solidify okay thus the particles are joined by the formation of bond and the particles shrink that is called a vapor phase transport then next is the liquid phase sintering okay so in liquid phase sintering the green uh, the green compact may contain powders of different metals okay so we know that the the powder the powder the powder uh, consists of different 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 types of metals different uh, lubricants additives etc okay so the powder the powder contains different metals having uh, what about the melting temperature the melting temperature will be different okay so the green compact may contain powders of different metals and their melting temperature will be different so different melting temperature for different metals in such cases what happens uh, in such cases the metal with a lower melting point may melt and surround the metal particles which are not melted so here you can see these two uh, here you can see two powder particles and in, uh, on on these on the surface of the powder particle you can see uh, uh, another metal another metal metal with a low melting point melt and uh, surround this metal particles okay so i already mentioned the powder consists of different metals having different melting temperatures melting temperatures so when uh, this heating is going on the metal with a lower melting point melt and surround the metal particles which are not melted this occurs due to the surface tension of the liquid metal and this mechanism is called a liquid phase sintering this mechanism is called a liquid phase sintering this mechanism is called a liquid phase sintering stronger and denser products are obtained through this mechanism okay we can create stronger and denser products are obtained through this liquid phase sintering mechanism when a small quantity of pop copper powder is mixed with a tungsten powder copper melts at a lower temperature and this mechanism occurs okay so this is an example of this liquid phase sintering a small quantity of copper powder is mixed with a tungsten powder copper melts at a lower temperature and this mechanism occurs another example is cobalt mixed with a tungsten carbide okay so these are the two examples of liquid phase sintering one is copper powder mixed with the tungsten powder and cobalt mixed with the tungsten carbide then next is the pore pore shrinking pore means so these are the pores here you can see these are the pores okay one uh, during the sintering uh, initially there will be a point a point bonding then net formation and you can see these are the pores and grain boundaries are developed okay the here you can see pore shrinking is going on pore shrinking well, figure 1.17 uh, this is the point contact of the powder particles then this is the initial stage and this is the pores and this is the grain boundary and uh, after initial stage you can see the intermediate stage again this is the pore okay and this is the grain boundary and this is the final stage and you can see pore shrinking is going on is happened here you can see pore shrinking pore shrinkage is uh, happened so the primary driving force for sintering is the reduction of in surface energy of powder particles the green compact consists of a large number of particles and the total surface area of these particles is very high during the sintering process uh, during sintering process and uh, due to the applied heat the particles are bonded together so here these are the powder particles because of the sintering process these powder particles uh, are bonded together and the surface area is reduced initially the green compact consists of a large number of particles and the total surface area is very high because of the sintering process due to the applied heat this particles are the, these powder particles are bonded together and the surface area is reduced hence the surface energy is also reduced for finer powders more surface area will be there and the surface energy will be high during sintering there will be drastic reduction in surface energy and hence the driving force for sintering will also be high sintering causes changes at a microscopic level so all, all these changes uh, at a microscopic level at the surface of the powder particles all these uh, changes at a microscopic level at the surface of the powder particles mass transport between particles happens during the sintering process i already explained the diffusion and the mass transport mass transport between particles happens during sintering process because of this creates necking so here you can see the neck formation next in the second figure 1.16 second figure neck formation this creates necking and new grain boundaries 1.16 uh, last figure you can see the grain boundary and new grain boundaries are formed as shown in figure 1.16 and 1.17 the size of the pores are reduced okay because of the formation of this grain boundary the size of the pore 
the size of the spores are reduced because of the formation of the new grain boundaries. This also causes shrinkage of the green compact. Okay, so the size of the pores are reduced. That's why that is called a pore shrinking. This is called a pore shrinking. So this this uh, this picture is also very very important. You have to draw this figure and explain the pore shrinking process. The pore size reduction or pore shrinking that occur during sindering can be made related to the reduction in surface energy. It can be stated that the main driving force behind pore shrinking is the surface energy of particles. Okay, so whenever you will explain the sindering, okay. So uh, first you have to define what is sintering process. Okay, you have to define what is sintering. Then next is the main para the parameters, different parameters affecting the sintering. That is the sintering temperature, sintering time, and uh, sintering atmosphere. The temperature will be the below the melting point of the metal or alloy. That is the sintering temperature. Usually the value is 0 0.7 to 0.9 TM. TM is the melting point of metal or alloy. Sintering time will be different for different materials, different metals or alloys. So 10 minutes for iron and copper alloys and as high as many hours for materials like tungsten and tantalum. So sintering time will be different for different metals or alloys. Then sintering atmosphere, all these heating is carried out in a protective environment containing argon or hydrogen gas. The next is the mechanisms of sintering. So mechanisms of sintering means first, uh, first one that is called diffusion. Okay, you have to draw this figure and uh, explain with the help of this figure, explain the diffusion and the mass transport between two particles at an elevated temperature. The next is the vapor phase transport. Okay, so as the material is heated to the temperature closer to the melting point, that is the uh, that is called a vapor phase transport. Then liquid phase transport means the powder the the the, the powder consists of different metals having different melting temperatures. Okay, in such cases, lower melting point metal melt and surround the metal particles which are not melted. Okay, so this is called a liquid phase sintering, and stronger and denser products are obtained through this uh, through this mechanism. Then next is the pore shrinking. Okay, so explain uh, with the help of this figure, you have to explain point bonding, necking, pores, pore formation, grain boundary, and because of this grain boundary. Uh, the size of the pores are reduced by the formation of the grain boundaries. You have to you have to uh, draw this figure and explain with the help of this. Uh, you have to explain this pore shrinking process. Okay, so that that's all about the sindering. And and in in this question, um, uh, they they are they they ask uh, to draw a sketch. Okay, different stages. Okay, different stages of sindering. Okay, I will show a figure. You have to draw that figure also. Okay, so here, okay, so here uh, this is the sintering cycle and furnace. So here this is the uh, this is the sintering cycle and furnace. Here, in this figure, you can see the three stages. There will there is actually a preheat uh, zone. There is actually a sintering zone, and there will be a cool down zone. The three zones are there: preheat zone, sintering zone, and a cool down zone. So here, here you can see this is the in y axis, you can see this is the temperature and x axis, this is the time. Okay. In the preheat zone, you can see the temperature will be very low, uh, not very low. Uh, there will be initially some temperature. And as, as time increases, what happens? Uh, and this will enter into the sintering. What happens? The temperature will be increased. So this sintering temperature will be, you know, what is the sintering temperature? The sintering temperature will be uh, below the melting point of the temperature of the metal or alloy. So after the preheat zone, this will enter into the uh, here. This is the uh, continuous belt for flow through operation. After preheating, this will enter into the sintering zone. Uh, during the sintering, the temperature will be increases. Okay, this is the furnace temperature. This is the, the sintering furnace temperature. Then once this sintering process is completed, then this will enter into the next zone that is the cool down zone. Okay, so in this cool down zone, you can see the temperature will be reduced. Okay, so these are the three stages. You have to draw this graph. You have to draw this graph and this figure. Okay, so this preheat zone, this sintering zone, and this cool down zone. Okay, and this is the temperature line. Okay, this is the preheat temperature, this is the sintering temperature, and this is the uh, cool down temperature. So these are the three zones and the three temperatures. So once again, I will show the question paper again. Okay, so the question is uh, question number four. <sighs> question number four, explain the different stages of sintering process in 
powder metallurgy with a neat sketch different stages explain the different stages of sintering process that is that is the preheat preheat stage then uh, next is the sintering stage and the last one that is the cool down stage you have to draw that graph and explain different stages of sintering process in powder metallurgy with a neat sketch okay you will get six months okay thank you